Introduction Since its launch in 2010, Udemy.com has become the go-to place for people who want to acquire new skills through online video training. There are now more than 30 million students from all over the world and over 100,000 courses available. A lot of online marketers have tried to generate significant passive income through Udemy and have failed. This is because they made a number of mistakes that this training will help you to avoid. Many Udemy instructors do not sell many of their courses because there is no demand. In this training, you will learn how you can avoid that very costly mistake. Imagine spending days or weeks creating a great Udemy course only to have nobody purchase it. You need to research the market properly and validate all of your Udemy course ideas and you will learn exactly how to do that. Udemy videos must be of the highest quality, so you will see how to create this with the minimum of equipment that will not break the bank. Once you have created your high-quality Udemy course, you need to promote it. Many marketers just let Udemy do this for them, but this is never enough if you want to make serious levels of recurring income. Everything that you need to be successful with Udemy is in this training. If you follow the best practices offered, then you will maximize your chances of success. So please watch this training from cover to cover and then roll your sleeves up and create the most lucrative Udemy courses. Once you have created your first successful course, you can just rinse and repeat to build your passive income levels. Why Udemy? Udemy has become a huge platform that receives a huge amount of visitor traffic every day. So in this training, we will show you how you can associate yourself with this huge website which has a ton of resources and marketing power so that you can make recurring income. It is a lot easier than you think to create a course and publish it on Udemy. And with all the eyeballs that the platform has, if you go about things the right way, then you will make good money selling your course. There are a lot of other places where you can promote and sell your courses, so why should you choose Udemy? The Benefits of Selling Courses on Udemy There are a number of very good reasons why you should sell your courses on Udemy. If you are just starting out with selling training courses, this is particularly important for you to know. It can be very confusing and somewhat overwhelming if you want to start teaching people online. You need to answer a number of questions, such as, Should I teach people using a blog? Should I use YouTube? Should I create a podcast? Then, of course, there are the self-doubt questions that usually creep in when you want to start teaching online with your own courses. Am I the right person to teach online? What will I do if nobody buys or likes my online courses? Udemy has the answer to all of these questions, and here's why. You can make money while you learn. If you really want to succeed online and create passive income streams, there are many things that you need to learn and understand. How to conduct proper market research. How to create winning promotions. How to create top quality content. How to produce great videos. How to market and sell online. How to use analytics to see how well you are doing. These are just a few of the things you need to know. If you are serious about generating recurring passive income, then you need to know how to create these automated marketing systems that make this a reality. There are a number of technical aspects involved here, and some of these can be a nightmare. So, if you are new to this making money online thing, you have a steep learning curve to tackle. You can make this a whole lot easier by learning how to leverage the Udemy platform. You can earn while you learn. The great thing about Udemy is that you can concentrate fully on creating the best online training courses for your market and they will take care of the marketing for you. By using Udemy, you will gain the experience of creating video courses that people will happily pay you for. You will learn how to create and edit your videos and how to write persuasive emails and interact properly with your target audience. Everything about Udemy is really plug and play. You can make money quicker with Udemy. Another benefit of using the Udemy platform is that you can make money in the very first month that you published your training course. And when you produce training courses that your market wants and you establish your reputation, it will be easy for you to generate a significant passive income each month. A lot of people that set out to make passive income either fail altogether or take ages to get to that point. They take the approach that they need to build an audience first, and then later on, they will make purchases. It is not unusual for this approach to take anything from a year to 18 months to start generating a regular monthly income. Why wait that long when you can utilize the power of Udemy and do it a lot faster? Real passive income consistently. Let's face it, all online marketers love the idea of generating passive income. The idea of making money while you are sleeping or doing what you want to do is something that everyone aspires to. But the problem is making this a reality is pretty tough to do, and making this happen fast so that you keep motivated is even tougher. If you want to set up your own website to generate passive income, there is so much that you have to do, including creating web pages, writing email sequences for your autoresponder, spending money on paid ads, providing the highest quality content, finding the right payment processors, 
tracking all of your analytics, creating all of the graphics that you need, creating high converting copy for your offers, implementing your automated marketing system, managing outsourcers, and so much more. The thought of all this work puts a lot of people off the idea of passive income. Setting up a winning passive income system requires a ton of hard work and dedication as well as technical expertise. But when you use the Udemy platform, it is easy to create a consistent passive income. It is not unusual for people that create in-demand courses on Udemy to generate thousands of dollars per month in passive income. You just need to do everything the right way once, and then you can sit back and enjoy the rewards for a long time to come. Once you know how to do it right, you can create more courses to increase your monthly income. People that have tried other methods of generating passive income have found Udemy to be the answer. Nothing else really comes close to the ease of getting started on Udemy and setting up passive income streams for years to come. You can leverage a huge student base. Udemy has a very large base of students that will pay for online training courses. This is much better than having an audience that has consumed a ton of free training but never actually purchased anything. Udemy is the largest platform in the world for paid video training courses. It has tons of buyers just waiting for the next great course. So you can tap into a very large pool of buyers in your niche. The thing is that people are already spending money in your niche on Udemy and they are happy to spend more. You don't have to spend months creating a following as it is all there right now for you. And remember this, once somebody has purchased a course from you on Udemy, they are 10 to 15 times more likely to purchase another course from you. This is excellent as you can so easily build an audience of buyers on Udemy. Finding new customers for your business is a huge expense. When you use Udemy, you will actually earn passive income while you acquire new customers. Not only that, but you can use Udemy to direct your customers elsewhere. For example, in your final lecture, you can capture their email address. You can place your website URL in your videos. More about this later. You can send your students educational announcements and direct them to your website or wherever you want them to go. So, the bottom line is that you can use Udemy to generate traffic to wherever you want. Get good market data. You are probably unaware that you can get key market data from the Udemy platform. If you want to succeed in any business, you need to know your customers. You need to know what challenges they are facing, their pain points, and the questions that they have. It is not easy to find all of this out. Most of the experts will tell you to go to forums and join Facebook groups so that you can interact with your target audience. But this is incredibly time-consuming, and there's no guarantee that you will find the information you are looking for. Udemy makes this really easy because when someone enrolls for one of your courses, you can interact directly with them in the discussion area. Just observe the pattern of the questions you receive, and you can get to know your target market very well. Imagine that. Not only are you earning passive income, but you are gathering the market data that you need about your target audience at the same time. So, make the smart choice and use Udemy to provide you with your passive income. How to come up with profitable Udemy course ideas. Now that you know the benefits of using Udemy for passive income, it is time to come up with ideas for profitable courses. This is the most important step in the process, so please don't ignore it. The truth is that there are thousands of courses on Udemy that have no sales or very few. Why is this? Well, the creators of these courses didn't make the effort to see whether their course idea would be in demand or not. If there's no demand for your Udemy course, you won't make a cent. To generate passive income from Udemy, you need to create courses that you have knowledge about. There is demand for the course, and you are genuinely interested in the subject matter. Being interested in the courses you create is very important. There is a process that you can follow to find profitable Udemy course ideas, and that is 1. Create a list of possible course ideas. 2. Check the market for demand. 3. Check the Udemy competition. 4. Identify the questions, pain points, challenges, and concerns that your target audience has. Creating a list of possible course ideas. Okay, this is fun and simple to do. You need to create a list of ideas that are based on your knowledge and experience. Get a piece of paper and a pen and start writing a list of the things that you are good at. Then add the things that come really easy to you and the skills that you have and your experience. The next thing to do is ask yourself the following questions. What am I really passionate about? What subjects do people ask me for advice about? How do I earn money at the moment? What things do I enjoy learning about? You should be able to generate a decent list to start with from this. Think carefully when answering these questions. Sometimes we are really good at something without even knowing it. Others see it right away, but we don't. So get your family members, friends, and other people that you know involved in the process. Ask them what they think your strengths are and add these to your ideas list. 
You may think that some of your skills do not have any value, but you would be surprised how many people would be willing to pay you to learn these skills. Once you have completed your list, you need to examine it carefully and then choose the top five subjects that you would most like to create a video training course about. After this, look closely at these five choices to see if one really stands out among the others. Underline this idea. Decide on your favorite quickly. You do not want to overthink this. Remember, these are just ideas at this stage. Okay, so now you want to check to see if there is demand for your top idea and any other ideas on your list. Check the market for demand. Being really keen on a particular idea that you have knowledge and experience in is not enough if you want to make significant residual income with Udemy. You must first check to see if there's demand for your video training course idea. Don't make the mistake that so many other Udemy course instructors do, which is to start working on your top idea and developing it into a course. You might get lucky, but the chances are that you won't, and you will have a course that doesn't make many sales. The difference between being a success or failure with Udemy is research. And the crazy thing is that it is really easy to do some front-end research to see if any of your course ideas have legs before you create your videos. The first thing you should do is look for search engine demand using the Google Keyword Planner. You can enter keywords, search terms, related to your idea, and check on the monthly search volume on Google. You will also be presented with a number of related keywords, which is great for content ideas. So, what should you look out for in the Google Keyword Planner? Well, use a seed keyword, in other words, SEO training. You want to see search volume of at least 1,000 to 10,000 searches per month. The next step is to go to udemy.com and use the same keyword to search for available courses. You can organize the search results by the number of reviews to see how many people are taking these courses. Now, not everyone is going to leave a review, so this is just a fraction of the total numbers of people that purchase the course. There are SEO courses that have thousands of reviews on Udemy. So this tells you that there is certainly demand for this type of training. Never be worried about competition on Udemy. If there are already courses in your niche, this is a good thing. More on this later. Next, you can go across to Amazon.com and check to see if there are any best-selling books around your course idea. Choose the most appropriate category under books and see if the best-selling books are less than 20,000 in the best-selling rank. You can also confirm demand for your idea by going to YouTube.com and typing your seed keyword to see what channels exist and what subscriber and view counts exist. As a final check, you can go to Facebook.com to see if large groups exist for your course idea. Check the Udemy competition. If there's no competition for your course idea, then we recommend that you forget it and move on to the next idea. Usually, no competition or very little competition means that there is not a lot going on in that niche. In other words, you will make little or no sales for your course because the demand is not there. There's a great tool you can use called Udemy Insights. By using this tool, you can discover student demand for courses, the most searched keywords, the top competition, the amount of competition. There are other things too, but we will focus on these. Simply by entering the term SEO, Udemy Insights revealed that the student demand was high and that there was already a large number of courses. It also provided details on the median monthly revenue and the top monthly revenue. One of the other useful things was suggestions for other related topics of interest. WordPress and digital marketing appeared here, which was not too much of a surprise, but you can get more good course ideas from this. You do not have to base your final decision on the results that you get back from using Udemy Insights, but at least it will give you a good feel for the likely success of each of your course ideas. Identify the questions, pain points, challenges, and concerns of your target audience. It is very important that you know about the questions, pain points, challenges, and concerns of your target audience because it will help you to create the structure for your course, create the content for your course, create your promo video, create your course description. More important than this is it will enable you to get inside the heads of your target audience. You can find out what they care about and what challenges and frustrations that they face. Knowing all of this will form the foundation for the courses that you create. So how do you find out what your potential target audience is thinking about? Well, one of the best ways is to go over to Quora.com. This is a question and answer website where you can find many questions related to your niche. Type in your niche keyword and then look through all of the questions that appear. You are only concerned with the questions at this stage and not the answers. Make a note of any questions that appear regularly. Also record questions that you believe a lot of people would want to know the answer to. You can use Yahoo Answers and go through the same process here. Yahoo Answers has been around for a very long time and is a good resource for finding out what kind of questions people have in various niches. If your course idea has a few books available on Amazon, then go into each one and take a look at some of the reviews. 
Forget the five- and four-star reviews and focus on the three- and two-star reviews. Why? Because the people that leave three-star reviews in particular are usually going to leave specific points. You can discover a lot of interesting information by doing this. For example, you might find that some people were unhappy that a particular subject was not covered, or that something could have been explained in a better way. Make a note of these things. And finally, you can go to the reviews left on the Udemy videos. Again, this is a great source of information where you can find out what was missing in a course or what didn't work as well as people expected. Where there are a lot of reviews, you can learn a great deal about your audience from the comments they leave. So, decide on your best Udemy course idea from all the information you gather in this section. The next step is to create an outline for your course. Creating an outline for your Udemy course. Every great Udemy course begins with a great outline. You wouldn't even think about writing a book without mapping out an outline first, would you? So, don't try to create a Udemy course without one either. You must have a good title and subtitle. The most important thing that you need to decide on is the title of your course. This is closely followed by the course subtitle. A good title and subtitle can literally mean the difference between the success and failure of your course. If a potential customer is not inspired by your titles, then they will purchase someone else's course. You can have the best training videos on Udemy, but if you don't sell them with a good title, then you will not optimize the number of sales. When you are choosing these titles for your course, you don't have to be sensationalist. You can grab a lot of attention by simply making a promise. So, to come up with the best title, decide on the end result that your Udemy students are looking for. If you're not sure about this, go back over the research that you did in the last video. Always remember this. People that pay to watch Udemy videos want to achieve results. Almost all of the people that purchase your Udemy course will do so because they want to transform their lives in some way. They are not interested in you or your course, just what it can do for them. So, think about the end result here and make your promise in your title, for example, Total Beginner to WordPress Master. You then need to come up with a good subtitle that reinforces the promise. So you could go for Create Stunning WordPress Websites Without Having to Use a Line of Code. Provide a roadmap. The next step with your Udemy course outline is to provide your potential customers with a roadmap. You want to minimize the number of steps as much as you can here. If a potential customer sees many steps involved to achieve the results they want, then they may try to find a similar course with less steps. Put yourself in the shoes of the potential student here. They really want to learn something, and they think that a video course is the best way to do this, which it normally is but it is an obstacle in their way from where they are now to where they want to be. The bottom line is that nobody wants to watch hours and hours of videos no matter how good they are. All they really want is the end result. So, think carefully about the steps involved, from transforming from a total beginner to a WordPress master, for example. Think back to how you learned to use WordPress and how you went about doing this. Create a few steps that you can then start to fill in more details. The outline for your videos. Okay, let's stick with our WordPress example. What are the steps to becoming really proficient at creating WordPress website without having to use any code? Well, you might come up with something like this. Installing WordPress, the WordPress dashboard, themes and plugins, pages and posts, categories and tags, custom menus, adding different media types, configure WordPress for optimum performance, security for your WordPress website, Okay, so we may have forgotten one or two things here. It doesn't matter. The important thing is that you have a step structure to create your videos from. Once you are happy with this, take each step and write down all the things that you need to teach in a video or videos. So for installing WordPress, you might decide to teach them about the difference between WordPress.com and a WordPress hosted website, choosing a domain name, choosing a website hosting package, using the one clicks installer to install WordPress on your domain name, Choosing the best name for your website. Choosing a strong password. Checking that your WordPress website is working properly. Installing WordPress on your domain manually using FileZilla. Troubleshooting problems. You may need to break this down into three or four short videos. Always use short videos rather than long videos. If a potential customer sees that some of your videos are an hour long, then this could put them off. Remember that some people will be using their smartphones to view your videos, and an hour on a small screen is unthinkable. Go through the remainder of the steps and use one liner as in the example above to flesh out the content that you need to provide. You can always change this later, of course, if you have forgotten something, for example. If you really know your stuff, then it should not take you very long to create your course outline. 
Having said that, we do not recommend that you rush this either. A good outline will help you to create your Udemy videos, so we recommend that you create your first outline and then go over it at least one more time to look for issues. Sometimes you will find that you think of things to add to your course outline as you are actually recording your videos. This is fine. Just update the outline and then follow it. There is no such thing as a perfect training course. If you tried to include everything about WordPress, for example, your course would be far too long. Focus on the important things for your course. Okay, so you have created your outline, and before you create your videos for Udemy, you need to be prepared. Getting prepared to record your Udemy videos. Before we get into the specifics of creating your course content, there is one very important thing that you need to know about Udemy. Your videos need to be excellent quality. Udemy courses are all about video, so you need to overcome any camera shyness and get in front of the camera and start to teach people. Yes, you will need to appear on camera. In fact, we recommend that a minimum of 20% of your course content needs to be with you in front of the camera. Even if you will be recording the screen to show people how to do specific things, you must appear yourself. Your course will not be well received by your students if you do not make an appearance. It's just the way it is. We understand that you may be fearful of getting in front of the camera. You are not happy with the way you look or the way that you sound. It is natural to be apprehensive when you are first doing this. If you don't work on this, then your fear will be evident in your videos. You are now in the online teaching business. Consider the outcome to overcome nerves. If you are fearful of getting in front of the camera, then you have to work on this in practice. When you are practicing, have the outcome in mind. You are going through this pain to create a significant passive income that will grow every month. Tackle your fear head on. Get in front of the camera and practice. Recording yourself is not as difficult as it sounds. You want to create a professional series of videos, but it is not a Hollywood production. If you are providing great value in your videos, which you must, then your students will forgive some small imperfections. So, set up a few practice sessions. Write a small script and either memorize it or place it in a position where you can read it without turning away from the camera. After a few practice sessions, you should go from shy and nervous to actually enjoying the recordings. Keep practicing until you reach this point. Tools that you need. To create videos of the quality that will be accepted by Udemy, you need to be prepared to make an investment in some good quality equipment and software. Udemy has standards for their videos, and you need to abide by them to launch your video training course. Here's what you will need as a minimum. A good quality HD webcam. A good quality microphone. A pop filter for your microphone. Screen recording software. Video editing software. Slide presentation software. You might want to consider lighting as well. There are other things like green screens, but these are not necessary to start with. The good news is that good quality equipment does not have to break the bank. HD webcam. All Udemy videos need to be recorded in HD. They will accept a minimum of 720p resolution, and the camera needs to be steady and have good framing capabilities. Don't worry, you do not have to go out and purchase a top-of-the-range Sony professional camera here. The Logitech C920S HD Pro webcam will provide very good quality recordings when plugged into your desktop or laptop. It can record in 1080p resolution, and it has a light correction feature which provides the very best images in any lighting conditions. It has two microphones for stereo audio, and at the time of creating this training, it sold for around $70. Microphone. It is actually more important that your Udemy videos have high-quality audio than video. This does not mean that the video quality can be poor, so do not try to record audio for your Udemy videos using the inbuilt microphone in your laptop or smartphone or by using a microphone which is part of a cheap pair of headphones. For more information on the audio quality that Udemy demands, you need to visit their page on the subject here. One of the most important points on the page talks about the audio quality not being distracting to students. This essentially means that poor sound quality is not acceptable. If your students have a tough time hearing you, that really isn't good. If you're going to use your computer for recording your Udemy videos, which is fine, then we recommend that you get a high-quality USB microphone, such as the Blue Yeti. This is going to cost you around $100 new, but it is really worth it. If you prefer to use a lapel microphone, then take a look at the Sony ECM-CS3. Pop Filter Spending between $10 and $20 on a pop filter for your microphone is a very good investment. It will cut down on unwanted noise and will help you to create the highest quality audio. One of the great facilities offered by Udemy is that you can send them a test video and they will review it for you. 
Please go here to find out more and to submit your test video to Udemy to review. Screen recording software. You will need screen recording software if you want to show your students your computer screen to teach them. When you use screen recording software, you can either narrate live as you go along using your microphone or you can add an audio track later. There is a free screen recording software suite that is great to get started with called Cam Studio. It is reliable and will do a good job recording your screen. It will work with Windows XP up to Windows 10. For Mac, you can use the QuickTime player to record your screen. If you want more features, such as comprehensive video editing, then Camtasia Studio is the best option. At the time of creating this training, it was available for $199. It will work on Windows and Mac computers, and there is usually a free trial where you can test it out. Camtasia Studio is the best screen recording software around, and if you are considering recording several training courses for Udemy, then it is a worthwhile investment. To get started, you don't need it. Video Editing Suite once you have recorded the various aspects of your video course, you will need to edit everything so that it is the best it can be. You will need a video editing suite to do this. Fortunately, there are free applications available for both Windows and Mac computers. If you are a Windows user, then Movie Maker is a very good application and comes free with most of the operating systems. If it is not installed on your computer, you can download it. If you have a relatively modern Mac computer, then it should have iMovie installed, which is also a very good video editor. Udemy recommends that you use the MP4 video format as their uploading process has been fully tested for this. If you use Windows Movie Maker, then the standard file format is WMV. For iMovie, it is MOV. Udemy will accept both of these formats. You may need to experiment here to see which format works the best. Slide Presentation Software Sometimes you will need to use slides to make various points in your training course, which you will talk over to explain or discuss. You will need slide presentation software to create the slides for your video. There are a few free and paid options that you can go with here. Google Slides. This is a free web-based app that will work for Windows or Mac users. Microsoft PowerPoint. There are versions available for both Windows and Mac computers. Keynote. This is for Mac users only. OpenOffice Impress. This is a free application for Windows users that comes as a part of the OpenOffice package. You do not need really fancy animations or other features when creating slides for a Udemy video, so Google Slides is a good solution. If you have PowerPoint or Keynote and are used to using these, then that's fine too. Now you are prepared, it's time to record your Udemy videos. Creating your Udemy videos. Now you are ready to create your Udemy videos. The most important thing to remember when you are recording your video is, keep your students engaged. When you create an engaging video course, your students will really appreciate it and will recommend your course to the people that they know. You want students to view all parts of your course and participate in quizzes or whatever else you want them to do. Here are some general tips for great Udemy videos. Make short videos. We strongly recommend that you make each of your videos as short as possible. Less than 10 minutes is really good. Most students will not want to sit through 15 to 20 minute videos, so break your videos up if you have to. Lengthy videos are one of the main reasons that students drop out of Udemy courses and leave bad reviews. Keep it simple. Make your training as simple as possible. Stay focused on the topic at hand and don't go off on tangents. Get to the point as quickly as possible. Everybody will appreciate this approach. Obviously, if you need to explain something in detail, then you have to do that. Add an introduction and conclusion. We recommend that you add an introduction and conclusion to each of your videos. This will help your students to understand what is coming in the video and what they will have learned at the end. Add quizzes. With Udemy courses, you have the option to add quizzes in between videos and we strongly recommend that you do that. When a student participates in a quiz, it is a great way to make an assessment of how well they are doing. We recommend that you create quizzes that have multiple choice questions, such as, what is a link from an external website referred to in SEO terms? A, hyperlink, B, reference link, C, backlink, D, rail link. Multiple choice questions are easier for the student. Make sure that you have answered all of the questions in the video so they can go back over it if they are not sure about something. Encourage debate. The idea of doing this is that students will think about the lesson they have just watched and then discuss it with their peers. This encourages interaction rather than just sitting and watching the videos. You can ask them to answer an open-ended question about the training, for example. Tips for creating great videos. These tips relate to the way that you act when you are recording the sections of you in front of the camera. 
The best way to approach this is to believe that you are a real presenter who does not have to rely on slides or other prompts. You need to practice this as you will come across pretty boring if it is obvious that you are reading from something. You are the teacher here and you want to provide the best impression possible. Be mindful of monotony with your videos. This is especially true if your videos are longer than three hours in total. Try to make your teaching style light and humorous, even if the subject doesn't lend itself to this. If you can use stories in your videos, then this is great. Everyone enjoys a story. Imagine that you are talking to a friend when you are recording. You want to be as relaxed and casual as possible. Your students will warm to this and are more likely to contact you and leave you a good review. Be careful with body language. You will probably just be doing headshots live on camera, but even with this, you need to pay attention to your body language. Don't touch your face when you are talking on camera. Wringing your hands is not a good idea either. Make a few practice recordings and see how you look. A lot of people repeat the same words all the time in their speech, and if you do this, then you need to avoid it. We're talking about the classic, um, ah, you know, and like statements here. These words suggest that you are not confident. Don't speak too fast or too slow either. Maintain eye contact with the camera at all times. Your appearance and background. You want to record against a simple background so that your students are not distracted. Don't use backgrounds where there are fancy curtains, mirrors, or lights, or anything else that will be distracting. Think about what you are going to wear when you record your videos. If you are making a serious business video, then wear a business style suit. For other videos, go for smart and casual. Don't wear really bright colors that will distract your students. Tell students they are progressing well. Keep your students motivated by telling them how much progress they are making. Congratulate them for reaching certain milestones and saying things like, you have really learned a lot or you have really come a long way. Don't repeat yourself. Repetition is good for learning, but don't overdo it. Write a list of pointers or prompts to remind you what to say during your on-camera sessions. When you are telling stories, keep them brief. Avoid repeating yourself too much. Over-the-shoulder videos. This is the term used for demonstrating how to do something either by recording your computer screen or giving a live demonstration. With a live demonstration, practice it a few times first before you record it. When you are going to record your computer screen, we recommend that you have a number of tabs in your web browser already open and any software applications open as well. The last thing you want to record is something loading. This is boring for your students and for you too. With screen recording training, you have the option to narrate in real time or adding the audio later. Some people prefer to do it live while others like to record the audio afterwards. With a live recording, you are more prone to make mistakes, so bear this in mind. It can make your video seem a lot more natural though. Slide recordings. Sometimes you will need to use your slide presentation software to create slides for your videos. These are fine, but keep them to a minimum. Slide and talk videos can be very boring after a while. A slide at the end of each video to emphasize the main learning points is a good idea. You can also use one at the start to give an overview of what you will cover. Be sure to keep your text simple on your slides. Never write paragraphs. They should be one line to emphasize points. Introduce a single point at a time on your slide so that your students will listen to you and not be reading ahead. Use a simple layout for your slides and avoid distracting patterns. Choose a style that represents your brand and the subject you were teaching. Don't cram too many points into a single slide. This looks terrible and will distract your students. Feel free to use images to illustrate points in slides. Keep the images relevant to what you are discussing. Use your visuals to invoke emotion. Humorous images and images that create wonder are good. Use charts, graphs, and tables where this is appropriate. Go for one per page unless you are making a comparison. If you have the chance to include short video clips in your slides, then this is a good way to mix things up. PowerPoint and other slide presentation apps have many transition effects that you can use, but we strongly recommend that you don't use those. Nobody is going to be impressed by whoosh noises, fade-ins and fade-outs, bells ringing, or any of this kind of thing. You have now created your Udemy course. So it is time to create your high converting landing page. Create a high converting landing page. This is one of the most important videos in this training. You can create the best Udemy training course ever, but if your landing page sucks, then you will make very few sales, if any. Udemy will provide the exposure for your course. We recommend that you do more than this in a later video. But if your landing page doesn't convert, it will all be a waste of time. There are many examples of average and even poor quality products selling well due to good marketing. Now, we are in no way condoning that you create an average or low-quality course, but we want you to understand how important marketing your course well is. 
If you make a lot of sales through your landing page and your course is really engaging and people complete it, then Udemy will reward you with even more exposure. Udemy is a business first and foremost, and they want you to achieve high conversions so that they make money too. Their whole system is geared up to send the maximum amount of visitor traffic to the courses with the highest conversion rates. So, if you want all of the exposure that Udemy can give you, then you need to pay special attention to your landing page. There are four elements to your landing page which are 1. Your course title and subtitle 2. Your promo videos 3. Your student goals 4. Your course description To familiarize yourself with these elements, find a course with a lot of reviews on Udemy and check everything out. Your course title and subtitle We already discussed this in the outline video earlier. Your title and subtitle are critical for conversions. They are usually the first things that a potential customer will see when they get to your landing page. You have seconds to make a good impression when someone sees your landing page. So, your title and subtitle really need to inspire the visitor to find out more and watch your promo video. Your promo video. Promo videos are very important. Udemy's own research tells them that an effective promo video is as much as 10 times more likely to persuade a potential to purchase a course. Most Udemy instructors get this all wrong and see the promo video as a chore that they need to complete rather than a great marketing tool. A lot of Udemy instructors are actually teachers and do not have much marketing sense. You need to be different and have your marketing hat on when you are creating your promo video and all the other elements of your landing page. The most effective promo videos are short, between 90 seconds and 2 minutes. Don't underestimate the power of this short video. When you create a good one, it will dramatically increase your chances of making sales. This is what you should include in your promo video. The benefits, questions, language. You did a lot of research to find the best idea for your Udemy video, so refer back to your notes on this to create these three things. Your promo video needs to resonate with potential customers, and if they like the benefits your course will offer, then they are much more likely to purchase your course. Your student goals. Think of your student goals as the milestones that they will pass on their journey to the desired result that you have promised them. The goals must correspond to the sections of your course. Potential students will be thinking, what will I be able to do after I join this course? What they are really asking is, what results will I get? People take Udemy courses because they want to change their lives. They want to acquire new skills that will make their lives better. So you need to describe each one of your student goals in action terms. A bad student goal example is, you will learn the basics of WordPress. A good example is, you will create a WordPress blog in a few hours. The second example is all about the result. You are telling your prospects what they will be able to do after purchasing your course. So, you need to create all of your student goals around practical applications and results. Your course description. If you don't want to make any sales of your course, then create a general description for it like a lot of Udemy instructors do. But if you want to make a lot of sales, then treat your description as another sales opportunity like everything else on your landing page. A persuasive course description will help convert more visitors to your landing page into customers. So you need to use your description to address the core issues of your target audience. You need to address their desires. You need to address their fears. You need to answer their questions. And you need to do all these things using the same language that they do, which you uncovered in your research. Be prepared to spend a good deal of time creating your landing page. It will pay you back over and over in the future. You might not get it right the first time around, so you can try to improve it regularly and see if the conversions increase. Do a review of your landing page at least three times a year. Other landing page considerations. You will need to provide an image for your course. This is shown in the top left-hand corner of your landing page. If you're not good at graphic design, then use a freelancing website like Fiverr.com and spend a few bucks on having a great image created. Whatever you do, don't use an amateur-looking image for your course. It will drive people away in droves. You will also need to complete an author profile. Use a high-quality photograph of yourself here smiling and looking confident. Tell your potential customers why you are the best person to teach this course. Talk about your experience and how you have achieved results, etc. You need to use your profile to build authority and trust. Write your profile in the third person and not the first person. How much should you charge for your Udemy course? Find out in the next video. Pricing your Udemy course. The pricing of your Udemy course can make or break it. A few years ago, Udemy placed a cap on course pricing so that the maximum cost for any course was just $50. This caused outrage among many instructors who had priced their courses at hundreds of dollars. 
At the time of creating this training, the cap is now $199.99. This can change, so check here. To charge for your courses, which you want to, of course, you will need to become a premium instructor. You need to make an application to Udemy for this. Don't worry, it's not as bad as it sounds by going here. You will need to be logged into your Udemy account to make this application. It will take Udemy a couple of business days to get back to you. Udemy set out their guidelines for course pricing here. You need to know a couple of things about the way that Udemy operates before you make a decision on the price of your course. One, they experiment with pricing a lot. Two, they provide giveaway coupons. Udemy can do these things because they are the biggest and have the most traffic. Don't let these facts deter you from making money on Udemy. Setting the price for your course. The list price you set for your course really doesn't matter that much. Why? Because almost every sale that you make will come through a fixed price promotion Udemy is running between $10 and $15. At the time of creating this training, the $11.99 price is very popular. You still need to choose a list price for your course though. There are two things that you need to take into consideration here. One, what you consider your course to be worth. Two, how your list price compares to similar courses. When considering what your course is worth, look at the value that you believe it offers and the number of hours of video that it has. If you only have around three to five hours of video, then you might want to consider a list price of around 50 to $70. For 15 hours of video, for example, this is a higher value course, so price it from $140 to $180. Take a look at competing courses and check out their list prices. They will all be subject to Udemy's promotional discount prices as well, but it is worth comparing to get an idea for your list price. One other thing to take into consideration is the revenue share arrangements with Udemy, which we will cover next. Udemy Instructor Revenue Share Here is a summary of the revenue share that you can expect as a Udemy instructor. Instructor Coupon Sales You can create a discount coupon for your course, which cannot be lower than $9.99. You can then use this in direct marketing. Udemy pays you 97% of the revenue here. There is a 3% admin fee. Organic through Udemy. When a sale is made organically through Udemy, you receive 50% of the revenue. No instructor coupons are involved here. If a sale is made via a Udemy app for iOS or Android, then Apple or Google charge a 30% fee on the total sale. Affiliate sales. Udemy has a number of affiliates promoting courses. With an affiliate sale, you receive 25% of the revenue. Udemy Deals Udemy has a deals program, and if you opt in, then they can reduce the price of your course to $10, and here you will receive 50% of the revenue. You can check for any changes to the revenue policy here. Now, it is time to set up your pre-launch sales funnel. Create a pre-launch sales funnel for your Udemy course. Before you officially launch your course on Udemy, we recommend that you set up a sales funnel and build an initial audience and potential pool of customers. Your aim with your funnel is to drive potential customers to your Udemy landing page after you have officially launched your course. Here's what we recommend that you do. Build an email list. Use an autoresponder service such as aweber.com to create an email list of potential customers for your course. You can create a landing page to offer an incentive for visitors to join your list. Then you can send emails to them with tips and remind them about your course. Have a web presence. If you don't have a website or blog, then you need to create one. You want to use this to build your personal brand and include links to your course and your email sign-up page. Get on YouTube. Set up a YouTube channel and create a few quick tutorials on your subject. You could also upload part of your lessons on your YouTube channel. Add a link in the description to your Udemy course so that people can get the whole story. Create a Facebook page. Set up a Facebook page around your subject and add posts about it. Join Facebook groups. Join related groups on Facebook and interact with other members. Connect with bloggers. Reach out to bloggers in your niche for sharing a free version of your course with their readers. You can also set up a mini course, more on this later, and ask bloggers to share this. Use other social media channels. Set up a Quora account and answer questions. Set up accounts on Reddit, Pinterest, Instagram, wherever your audience hangs out, and make posts and interact with others to build a following. Use free coupons. Set up and send out free coupons for your course to your audience. Always set an expiry date of a couple of days so that it prompts people to take action fast. The reason that you want to do this is that you will get fast course enrollments and reviews. This will help to get your course onto the Udemy homepage. Create a free mini course. Many successful Udemy instructors have used this tactic. 
Here you will make three to five short lessons about your subject and then use it to gain email subscribers by sharing it on your website, social media, with other bloggers, etc. In your email sequence, you want to offer a free or discounted coupon to enroll in your Udemy course. Provide your email subscribers with some value as well in your emails. You can also offer people a bonus lesson in exchange for a discounted coupon for your Udemy course. Time now to launch and promote. Launching your Udemy course and further promotion. All new courses have to be reviewed by Udemy and the process is fully explained here. It will usually take Udemy between two and five business days to review your course and get back to you. Sometimes they will tell you that you need to make some changes before approval. If your course is fine, they will confirm that it is live. Although Udemy will help you to find potential purchasers for your course, you need to do more than that. It is never a case of build it and they will come. Sure, a few may come, but you cannot totally rely on this if you want to create a significant passive income with your Udemy courses. Tell your existing followers. Once your course is live, you want to tell your existing followers, if you have an existing audience, about it. Start by telling your personal network about your course. This is your family, friends, and colleagues. Give them a free coupon and ask them to enroll and leave you a good review. If you have a following on social media channels, then create either a free or discount coupon for them. By now, you should have a few students and reviews by asking your personal network to help. Social proof is extremely important with Udemy courses. Nobody is going to want to be the first person to enroll in a new course. So never be worried about giving out some free coupons to your followers. Now, you might not warm to this idea at first. After all, you've spent a great deal of time, effort, and possibly money getting your course up and running. You now want to start getting paid, but you need to be patient here and think longer term. By giving away free coupons, you will make more money in the long run because you are creating social proof. The more students and reviews a potential customer see for your course, the higher the likelihood is that they will make a purchase. So be willing to give out a lot of free coupons for your course. You can do this in the Facebook groups that you joined as part of your pre-launch sales funnel. How many students do you need to provide social proof? Well, there's no fixed figure, but at least 500 and preferably 1,000. Using coupons on deal websites. There are many deal websites around and you can look for the ones where there will be interest in your course. Don't waste your time adding coupons to a deal site specializing in perfume discounts if you've created a course about using WordPress. There are some more general deal sites such as Crunch-A-Deal and Slick Deals, which could bring some customers. Using paid ads. Once you have developed your social proof and know that your Udemy course converts well, then you can try paid advertising to increase your sales. Ads from Facebook and Instagram are usually best because you can specify your target audience. We recommend that you create discount coupons to use in these ads. Think SEO. Conduct some keyword research using the free Google Keyword Planner to create a list of keywords related to your course subject. It is very important that your landing page is SEO friendly, so when users search for a course on Udemy, your course will appear in the results when it is related. Pay attention to your title and subtitle. Use high volume keywords in these. Be sure to make it all look natural. Add these and other keywords to other parts of your landing page, such as the student goals and the course description. Once your course is live, test it for SEO. Review it regularly afterwards, too. Keep making posts about your course on social media. When you are promoting your Udemy course, your work is never done. Add new posts about your course on social media channels. You can post that you have achieved a student number milestone, such as 1,000, or make posts about the positive comments you have received from people that took your course. Write blog posts about your subject. We recommend that you set up a blog or website in the pre-launching phase if you don't already have one. Write posts about your subject and then include links to your Udemy course in these. Use long-tail keywords so that your post will rank on Google and other search engines for more traffic. Use promotional and educational announcements. Every month, you can send two promotional emails to your existing students. You can use promotional emails to tell your existing customers about new Udemy courses you have created. If you make any sales for your new courses through these emails, then you get 97% of the revenue as it is seen as direct marketing. The other advantage is that Udemy will spot this rise in paid students and this will lead to an increase in your search rankings on Udemy. You can make four educational announcements to your existing students each month. Here, you will want to provide value and increase student engagement. It is not necessary to use all four educational emails each month, but you should send at least one. Why not send out a message that highlights certain sections of your course to your students? Or you can use educational messages to share additional content relevant to your course, adding more value. The two main reasons that you should send regular educational messages are, one, it reminds your students about you. 
Two, it helps with your Udemy SEO. Reminding your students about you is particularly important when you create new courses on Udemy. You're becoming more familiar with them and they are more likely to buy something else from you. The emails prove that you care about them and their success. Student engagement is a strong factor for Udemy SEO. They will note the time that people spend watching your videos. They will also take note of how active you are in the Q&A area and other places. Best Practices for Success with Udemy Courses We want you to achieve the levels of passive income each month that you desire from your Udemy courses. So we have 10 best practices for you that you need to follow to ensure your success. 1. Why Statement and Goals for Your Udemy Success Write down your goals for success with Udemy. Set goals for income levels over the next few weeks, months, and years. Write a strong why statement of why you want to achieve passive income results with Udemy and carry this around with you at all times. Make your Udemy goals visible all of the time. Place them next to your computer and other places where you spend a lot of time. Creating winning Udemy videos takes time and effort and you need to do everything that you can to keep your motivation levels high. 2. Generate new course ideas and validate. Spend time creating new ideas for Udemy courses. Think about your interests and use other resources to generate each idea. You must validate your ideas to see if there is demand for courses. If you don't do this, then you will join the large group of Udemy instructors that make little or no sales. Use the Google Keyword Planner to check for search volumes and identify good keywords. Check for demand on other websites such as Amazon.com. Use Udemy Insights as another validation tool and search Udemy for competing courses to see the level of success that they are having. 3. Plan your Udemy courses with a good outline. The best Udemy courses are well-planned and executed. Spend time creating an outline for your course and conduct additional research if necessary. Start with the learning steps and then flesh these out with the content you intend to provide. 4. Get the right tools and learn how to use them. You cannot create high-quality Udemy videos without the right tools. It is essential that you have a high-quality microphone with a pop filter and a good-quality camera to shoot the live sections of your videos. Video editing is another important aspect, and whatever editing suite you decide to use, learn how to use it properly so that you can produce the very best videos. If you intend to record your computer screen for training, then choose screen recording software and learn how to use that properly too. 5. Create engaging videos. Your aim with all your Udemy videos must be student engagement. Make each of your videos less than 10 minutes. People do not generally want to watch longer videos than this. Add introduction and conclusion slides to each video so that students know what they are going to learn and then receive a summary of learning points at the end. Add interactivity to your courses with quizzes where students can test their knowledge to see how far they are progressing. Add stories to your videos where you can. Everyone loves stories and this will help to drive up your engagement levels. 6. Create high converting landing pages. Your Udemy course is not going to sell itself so you need to spend time creating a persuasive landing page. The title and subtitle of your course are critical as they are the first thing a visitor will see. They need to grab the attention of the visitor so they will want to know more. Make a good promo video which explains the benefits of your course. Make sure that it answers the questions that most people will have. Use your action-oriented steps in the student goal section. Write a benefit-laden course description. 7. Create a sales funnel for your Udemy course. Prior to launching your course, set up a sales funnel so that you can gather leads and persuade people to try out your course for free or for a steep discount. You need your own website or blog and an autoresponder to capture email addresses and to perform email marketing. Create a mini course for your course and use this as an incentive to get people onto your email list. 8. Promote your Udemy course. Don't rely on Udemy to sell your course for you. Tell your personal network of friends, family, and colleagues to enroll for free with a coupon and leave you a good review. You need to build up your social proof so that this will be appealing to potential buyers. Create discount coupons and add them to deal sites. Once you know your course converts well, use paid traffic such as Facebook ads to drive more traffic. Be active on social media about your course and join relevant Facebook groups. Use promotional and educational announcement emails to keep in touch with your students and make more sales. 9. Monetize your Udemy videos. If you're selling your courses for around $11.99, you're going to have to sell a lot to make significant passive income. You can monetize your Udemy courses by adding affiliate links to other related products, links to your website offer pages, and so on. 10. Rinse and repeat. Creating your first Udemy course is just the start. You need to be committed for the long term and plan to create more Udemy courses. The biggest passive income earners on Udemy all have more than one course, so you need to do the same. Conclusion. 
You now have everything that you need to choose a profitable Udemy course idea and create a great course and promote it properly. You will need to invest in a good quality microphone and HD webcam if you don't have them, but these are available for very reasonable prices these days. There are Udemy instructors making thousands a month in passive income from their Udemy courses. There's no reason why you cannot join them. You just need to take action with what you have learned and set up the right promotional structure to sell huge numbers of courses. When you follow the advice in this training, you will avoid the mistakes that so many Udemy instructors make. As long as your courses are good quality and deliver what the students want, then there will be no stopping you.